Welcome to this edition of Pattern Spotlight. We will be reviewing Butterick's 6880. If you already know how I do my sew alongs, and if you will be kind enough to watch at least one ad should it appear, which enables me to keep providing free content to you, feel free to go and skip to the three minute, 25 second mark to go straight to the sew, sew along. Thank you greatly and thanks for watching. Here's a little bit about how I do my sew with me sew alongs. For techniques, I'm gonna put it on the website and I will reference it in the sew along itself. So for example, we just did, we're working on a pair of pants that has a fly front. So when we get to that portion in the sew along, I'll do a little bit of it, you know, and in instructions in the sew along itself, but then I'm going to refer you over to the website to go ahead and look at that video, that particular video, look it over, you know, um, study it, do your own sample if you want, because you know, I'm big on that technique binder. So go ahead and, you know, and do that. And then once you get a good hang of um, what that technique is, then come back onto the, the sew along itself and do that particular technique with the sew along. So that way, we both kind of benefit. Um, you still get the instruction of the actual sew along, step by step of how to do a particular thing. Um, but I, it's less editing on my part because uh, like I said, I'll mention it in the sew along itself, but then I'll refer you over to the website to actually find that particular technique um, and go ahead, review it, look at it. Um, and then once you master it or enough to wear even so long, you know, at the same time and, and install it in that particular so long that you're, that you're doing at that time. Um, so hopefully that will be okay for, for you. Cause I think it's, a I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone for watching my videos. Um, I love to upload the videos. I love to share my knowledge. Um, and I'm pretty sure that you guys love to get free content. So in order for me to keep uploading uh, free content, I just need you to do some simple things for me, some very simple things. The first thing is just to hit the subscribe button. So just make sure that you hit that um, so you're subscribed to my channel. Hit the notification bell so when I upload a new video, you don't miss out and you get to see it. And then also if, if there's an ad um, on my videos, they're typically anywhere from 10 seconds to maybe up to two minutes. Um, just go ahead and either watch it or do something else you want to do in those uh, in those um, in that particular time that that ad is running. So use the restroom, go get something to drink or something like that, because that way, if you let that ad run, um, I benefit from YouTube and that way I can still keep creating content and uploading it for free. Okay, 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 okay. Enough of that boring stuff. Back to the sew along. Please take a moment to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. Thanks again and keep watching. Okay, so we'll be going over Butterick's B6880. The garment type is a skirt, pants, and shorts. The description, it actually is not described on the website. I cannot find the pattern in the website. I found it uh, when I went to my local Joann's. Um, but on the back of the pattern, it just says skirts, pants, and shorts. The sizes range from six to 24 with a body measurement for your bust corresponding at 30 and a half inches to 46 inches. Um, they have a waist measurement of 23 inches to 39 inches and your hip, lower hip is 32 and a half inches to 48 inches. All right, let's take a look at the line drawings. If we look at A and C, basically, they are um, tops and they have collars with a front band, uh, inset sleeves, um, with a breast pocket and a hem. So that's in B. A is shorter. B obviously is like your regular button down shirt. <clears throat> and A is cinched at the waist or uh, above the waist, um, what appears to be a casing. Um, going down to C, 
is the pants version and it seems to have um, darts and two back pockets and one front pocket a wide hem at the bottom a wide leg at the bottom with the hem and D is just is the short version um, of C so it's the same exact thing as just in shorts for uh, view D okay so let's move on to the suggested fabrics and for they have cottons linens poplin and denim and for the shirts A and B they also include your silky types and shirtings so let's look at each one of these individual so your cottons um, you know you can have a Crips cotton um, like your dress shirt um, like a men's dress shirt or you can have a softer cotton um, so just depends on what you the look you're going for so your linens you know those are popular in the summertime um, I think of linen as a uh, softer version of a crisp cotton <laughs> is the best way I can describe it um, and they get softer as you wash it but this is an example of what a linen would look like all right next up is poplin uh poplin is a, is a cotton basically um and this is an example of what that would look like denim you know you have your different weights to denim um but people you know when they see when you hear denim people kind of know what you know a denim looks like feels like so I'll just pop in pictures of that <clears throat> all right so moving on to it says for a and B you have your silky types okay and so your silky types are anything that's soft to the touch that resembles silk okay so that could be your charmeuse uh, your rayons uh, crep the sheens things like that so you know they're lightweight flowy and um, has a nice silky soft feel um, and that's I'll pop a picture up here so you see that's what that would look like okay so let's take a look at how the pattern makers uh, intended this garment to fit is you know basically it's silhouettes and so we're going to use a size 14 which is kind of like in the middle of all the sizes just to uh, determine this so we'll take the bust measurement of a 14 is 36 the finish measurements um, for the bust at a size 14 is 43 and a half okay so that is seven and a half of ease and I'll pop in the chart here so you see the ease and that is a loose garment and it's on the top end um, the top side of a loose garment and let's do the hips so the hips for a size 14 is 38 and the finished measurement is a 41 and a half so that is three and a half inches of ease um, and I'll pop the chart in again here um, so you see that that's um, on the fitted side and that's mid range for the fitted size of ease now get out your trusty tape measure and we'll use the bus so they had a seven and a half um, ease for the bus now starting at your bus measurement whatever that is add seven and a half to that around your bust fullest part of your bust um, and see what that feels like it does that seem right to you is it too much is it too less um, if you need to make any adjustments to that that is considered your personal ease um, and your silhouette for that type of garment all right so lastly let's go over uh, your sewing techniques that you'll need in order to put to complete this uh, pattern so you're going to need your basics 
which is your straight stitch, your basting stitch, reverse stitch, and knowing how to sew corners and uh, curves. And that includes notching and clipping. Okay, you're also going to need to know how to do a collar or collar stand, I should say, a front, <coughs> a front band, um, a casing, uh, pockets, you know, type the, the, that goes on top of your garment, um, inset sleeves, hem, um, you're going to know, need to know how to do darts. And that concludes our spotlight of Butterick's B6880. Let me know in the comments if you made this uh, pattern or if you intend to. Thank you for watching and happy sewing.